All right, Nick Goble. Yes, sir. Tiffin Women's Wrestling here yes, at the uh, Lady Chieftains Invitational at Bell Fountain. What are you looking for? I'm just here trying to get as many girls as possible. Um, I think it's awesome what's happening in Ohio with the sport of women's wrestling. Um, I'm here just watching some girls I'm currently kind of recruiting and also just looking for more that are interested in wrestling in college. So what have you seen so far today um, that, that stands out to you? Maybe not names, but what are you seeing in, in, as far as development goes in the state of Ohio? What stands out to me is I'm seeing girls that literally were playing basketball six months ago. I was just talking to Coach Nicklef from Allentangy. One of, their, one of the good girls on their team just playing basketball six months ago, and she's out here taking a second at a tournament, and I think that's pretty awesome. You see girls have only been out here on the mats maybe for a year or even two years out here winning tournaments and look like they've been resting their whole life. So that's kind of cool to me to see. Yeah, absolutely. Development in the state of Ohio. You looking elsewhere? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm looking all over, man. Any, any girls interested in wrestling and pursuing academics at TIFF, and I'm definitely interested in. Um, I'm trying to go all around, the, all around the bordering states of Ohio and just try and bring girls to, to a tiffin. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, opportunity is fantastic, right? No, I mean, what would you over. tell maybe a parent uh, that, uh, that is thinking about, or, or maybe, maybe that, that first year wrestler that's thinking about coming out next year after they see some of these results, see some of their friends. As a coach, what would you tell the, the wrestler to encourage them and then maybe the parents that might maybe need to nudge them along a little uh, bit. I would encourage them just to get as much experience as they can as soon as possible. Um, even if just going out to open mats at their high school, um, if they're friends with any girls that are currently wrestling, maybe just have them show them some things. Um, go to any clinics that are available, any high schools around. Just get them interested in the sport and make sure that they're having fun doing it. If they're not having fun doing it, they're not going to want to continue doing it. So. And that's key, right? Especially at the next level. Now next level, Tiffin Division Two. Yes, sir. Right? Yep recently sanctioned as an emerging sport. What do you think about that? That's pretty awesome. So next year we'll officially be following NCAA rules. Um, once we have 40 schools in the NCAA, we'll officially have an NCAA sponsored tournament. Um, now it's still an invitational, but we do have the first NCAA tournament coming up in about a month. So next year it's just gonna, it's just gonna keep growing, man. It's, it's pretty awesome. Tell us a little bit about the program, how you feel it's going, and what you need, oh, what man, you might be looking for. The team culture is finally coming around. It's exactly where I want it to be. Um, we just avenged the early season loss from Adrian. We came back and beat him 28-14 last this past Thursday. I haven't seen our team camaraderie like that all season. And it's just it's finally coming around and it's showing. Took eighth at national duels. wasn't We weren't supposed to uh, beat a team that beat us earlier in the year um, by a point. It's just awesome, man. It's going great. Awesome. Going great. Well, I appreciate your time. You got anything else you want to add before we say goodbye? Nope. Uh, just really, really awesome to see women's wrestling growing like this. All right. Appreciate the time, Coach. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Appreciate. It.